Hey everyone, welcome to my first ever tutorial video. I am Dan TML. My name is Dan. TML stands for Toronto Maple Leafs. And uh, today I'm just going to stream a little bit from a very lopsided game. Um, it's going to be the All Stars West versus the Ottawa Senators. And I'm just going to walk through some of the main ways you can score goals in NHL 94. So uh, I'm just going to edit my lines here, put on some of my favorite players. Uh, obviously, got to have JR at center. Let's get some fast and agile people here. So sure, Solani. And uh, yeah, Theo Fleury's fun to play with. Timu, Pavel. Okay, I'll go Pavel. I like, I like speed. All right, so in case anyone else is wondering too, this is often a typical uh, run that people will do to try to get the most amount of goals possible. So um, So uh, one of the very first typical goals that you learn is the is the uh, going across the crease goal, where you just come like this, you go across and you shoot it, and the goalie the goalie just dives down like that. So here's Jeremy Roenick. You get want to get on the sideboards, find some space. Works forehand or backhand too. So I'm just trying to set it up so I can tell, talk to you, tell you what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna. Head over here, go to my forehand, come across, try it again. So come across. Oh god. I have to restart this video. Hey man, it's NHL 94, anything can happen. Alright, so I see he's a right-handed shot, so I'm going to come around here. Alright. <laughs> okay, here's Timu. <laughs> Finally, JR. Okay. So, I'm going to set up on the... Alright, I guess we're going Pavel. So, set up on the sideboards, and once you find your spot to come across... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, here he is again. So, come off the sideboards, come across. <laughs> it's a fucking net. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wiggle my way. <laughs> okay, here we go. <coughs> so I'm gonna come off of these boards, come across. <laughs> the fucking net. <laughs> I should literally have 15 goals by now. Alright. <laughs> Come across! Thank you. Oh my fucking god. Uh, yeah, so that's that's the easiest way to score in this game. You uh, just come across the net there and do that shot. So, usually what people will do is they'll... Uh, They'll kind of, they'll see the guy who's got it on his forehand, they'll come in like this, circle back, come across, and shoot. Alright, broke the curse now. Okay, so that's one. 
Um, the next one that I'm going to show you is the um, just standard, what I call a side side decal. So that's that's when you come in, usually on your forehand. I, and I'm just going to go back and show you what's what's happening here. So um, what you're doing with this is you want to come in. So you got you want to line it up, try to get out. You know, usually you can actually start from like right here. Uh, I guess you can't see that, but um, coming in, there we go. Coming in from the from the face-off dot at, at this angle. Now, if you have the better player you have, you can do it a little bit easier. So he actually circles out a little bit more. And what you're doing is you're using this to drive the the goalie over over to the this side. And as soon as yeah, you see that. So it's just kind of instinct by this point. But watch him slide over a pixel. He slides over a pixel, and now you see this area open. So now you just bring it back, and because he slid, he slid over. And then you just bring it over and subsequently shoot right after. Okay, so just come come in, bring that goalie over, and at the last second, bring it back to your forehand side and shoot. Um, that goal is possible to do on the backhand. The timing is a little bit different, so you've got to gotta practice a lot on that one. I'll see if I can bring JR in on the backhand and show you the same thing. What do we got? Okay, we got Timu here. Nope, they're gonna clog up the slot on me. Alright, I'll show you in period two. Alright, so set it up on his backhand. All right, I'll wait till the till the uh, face-off happens here, but I'll go back and show you the setup on that one. So, so what you're doing there? First of all, you gotta you gotta dodge the D and the and the players in the slot. And now I see my I see my space here. Defense closes it off, but he's Jr. So he can just push through. So I put the puck over in this area, and as soon as soon as I see the goalie just move over a touch, bring it back to my backhand then and fire. Okay, so you can just see a slight wiggle there to get him to to freeze in the middle or move a little bit over to the left, and then he brings it to his backhand and scores. All right, um, so you got the deep goal for the backhands. You got the uh, you got the cross the cross crease. Now the the next one is the one timer. So for the one timer, you usually want to bring one of your one of your wingers in on the side, and you can kind of just kill some time until you see your guy set up. Set up where you where you want him, and see. Okay, he's set up now. Now I just gotta. Oops. Now I just gotta wait for the perfect, not even a perfect lane, but just wait for a passing lane. And there it is. See. All right. So I'll go back to the replay there quick and show you. Um. So you wanna try to skate to the open ice gives you some time to think about what you're going to do and so now you can see you've got your player here perfectly set up and you've got this whole side of the net open so now you just need to find them find them a lane so you circle back you wait for the traffic to clear a little bit and now I mean this isn't a perfect lane here but I'm thinking he's not really looking and if it comes close he's gonna hit it so you just press B right here As soon as you press B you can just basically hit or tap start tap and see and uh, if he connects that in Sega, that shot's going to automatically go to the open side every time. Okay, so that's another one of your main ways. Um, what else do we got? Oh yeah. Okay, so another another one. People sometimes people call this a corner glitch or whatever. Coming out of the corner, it's very easy to score. It's not really a glitch, and it's very easy to stop when you have manual goalie. But basically, whoops. Um, let me get the puck back there again. Okay. Uh, all right. So basically, you're in the corner, and you just come out and take and take a shot like that. So I'll try to uh, works on your forehand or backhand. So you just come out and. I'll, I'll go back to the replay and show you what happened. What happens there? Because 
Um, I mean, obviously it looks extremely bad on the goalie, and this is this is very typical. So when you're right here and you start to shoot, um, the, the game's programmed that this goalie's got to make a save. But what's happening is your momentum carries you through to this spot where your shot actually releases. So you press, you, you press or you hold C here to start your shot. The goalie goes down. And now by the time you actually release your shot up here, you've got this whole open net to shoot at. Okay, so you, you just need to kind of wiggle around in there, find your open ice, um, make your path, start shooting, but make sure you're going fast enough that your momentum carries you out to the open ice. So this works at, at this angle like this. It also works if you start here and you just come straight across. And it even works if you're, if you're coming in at this angle. Uh, as long as you do it at the right timing, timing's a little bit harder coming there, but when you do it this way, um, it's pretty easy. Okay, so that's it. That's my first tutorial video for NHL 94. Um, like, subscribe, and share. Watch my upcoming videos. I'm going to be doing a couple more on um, some other things like uh, pass shots, um, CB checks, talking about the weight, the weight bug and, wh and why it's important. And, uh, and then I'm, I'm also going to do a couple... I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to do this match again where I play All-Stars West versus versus uh, Ottawa and I'm going to play uh, 30 minutes and try to get try to get as many goals as I can and, and uh, go for a personal record and hopefully eventually challenge the, the world record. Okay, anyways, thanks for watching and I'll be back soon.